The Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning has been tasked to conduct assessment on state land across the country. This follows an increase in the sale of state land without proper process and procedures. Morobe province is no exception. Bulk of the land was sold through fraudulent means by the provincial land boards. Others were occupied by squatter settlements, a concern that needs immediate intervention. All state land will be leased to genuine companies to generate revenue for the provincial government. A typical scenario was the Zawani land area situated in the heart of Lei City next to Bugandi Secondary School. This is a massive portion of undeveloped state land. The land is currently home to settlers who have been evicted from the Lei Tidal Basin project. The land was leased to the Morobe provincial government to develop it. These titles are basically issued to the Morobe provincial government for a 99-year lease. The illegal sale of state land has resulted in lengthy court battles over time. The department has lost millions of kina trying to settle many land-related issues. The government has tasked the lands department to free up state land for major development. The title or the land that is now uh, under their custody or sub to today so that uh, they can generate uh, revenue for the provincial government and the people. According to the minister, the land is owned by the provincial government. It will soon become a customs bonding area for containers. Morobe Governor Kelly Naru said there are also other plans to develop and expand the area. There are other plans uh, to be uh, put in uh, place for improvement of that land, so uh, we will slowly work that. Morobe Province is taking the lead in land reform policy in which state land must be freed up and customary land to be registered under the indigenous land groups. Minister Allen is very tough on provincial governments not to sell its assets. The sale of land under dubious deals has also put the department and the ministry on spotlight. The department is now working with all provincial governors to ensure all state land remain under the provincial government for vital infrastructure and development projects.